Hey guys, back with another video here. And today we're gonna do a cool little experiment. As you can see, we have this glass bottle, this egg, and this matchbox. And what we're gonna do is get this egg into this bottle without breaking the egg. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, to get started, what you need? An egg, it must be hard boiled in boiling water, so you need parent supervision if you want to do this. A glass bottle or anything like this, but make sure it's glass. And you need some matches or a lighter, uh, anything that you can use to get fire. Now I'm gonna peel the egg. Okay, before we get started, you wanna take a little bit of water and just wet the edges of the rim of your bottle. All right guys, it's fire time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna light this match, set this piece of paper on fire and drop it inside the bottle. And you'll see what we've been waiting for. So I got our match here. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, well that happened much quicker than expected. Okay guys, that happened quicker than expected. And in science, sometimes things won't happen how you envision them. So let's see why that might have happened quicker than expected. So maybe the hole on this bottle was too big. Although beforehand I did check and see that the egg did not fit, but maybe if the hole were a little bit smaller, it would have taken a little bit longer to go through. So that's one thing. And maybe we put too much water around the edge and that might have caused the egg to slip much faster than it would have been if we didn't put as much water. So those are two things that might have caused the experiment to go differently from what we expected. So the egg went into the bottle way quicker than expected. And what you may be thinking is that when we took the shell off the egg, it could just slide through the hole because it's smaller. But matter of fact, as you can see in the bottle, the egg is still much bigger than the hole. It ain't coming out. All right, guys, let's get into the science behind this experiment. So before we talk about anything, we have to talk about pressure, which is the basis of everything going on in the, this experiment. So pressure is the force exerted on a surface distributed equally across that surface. So it's like when your friend punches you in the arm, he's exerting pressure upon you. Okay, so let's talk about how it works in this experiment. So in this empty bottle, there is pressure all around it through the air and it is equally distributed. Um, when we put the match and the fire inside the bottle, there is a change in pressure. There's lower pressure in the bottle while there's still higher pressure outside. And naturally, places of higher pressure wanna go to places of lower pressure. So this causes the air and the higher pressure wanting to come down and get into the lower pressure because lower pressure is much more comfortable and nice and cozy. So when the egg is on the bottle, all the air from the higher pressure pushes down on the egg to get into the lower pressure, thus pushing the egg into the bottle. And that's basically how all this works. All right guys, so that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.